Hey, this is Ava McCoy, and this is Questions on the Red Couch. How do you connect with nature while living in New York? Man, that's a great question. I'm lucky to live by the water and work by the water, so I find that I'm always trying to find a patch of grass to lay on somewhere. Um, I am also lucky to have a car in New York City. I drive out of town quite often <laughs> to go see some trees. And I also think because my family's from the West Coast, um, they're from Oregon. I just love being around trees and I'm always uh, trying to connect to nature just by staying in touch with them and visiting them. So it's hard to find it here, but lots of parks and just going outside of my house, I'd say. What's a songwriting tip you can share? Ooh, there's one tip I learned from this guy named Jay Stolar. Um, who's an amazing songwriter who I grew up writing songs with. He told me to, I mean, this is pretty obvious, but I always think of it when I'm trying to come up with a new song idea, just write something that you would listen to on repeat all the time, or if you heard it on the radio, you would want to write it down um, and go back to it for reference. So I think just, uh, I don't know, tap it into your own inner influence and even sometimes trying to write a song based off of uh, a song that you've listened to and trying to take some some tips from that not you know not stealing the song necessarily but you can take a couple chords here and there maybe a concept what movie would work best with your music as the soundtrack maybe like into the wild i don't know i feel like he uh I feel like he would have been listening to that in his van in that movie. I think John Krakauer might be into my uh, Jack Krakauer, John Krakauer. Y'all know that? You guys should read that. It's a good, good book, great movie. Um, yeah, he's just out getting a vibe on the world, you know? And I think that uh, my music's good for road trips, good for soul searching. Probably that movie. Do you have any spiritual routines? I enjoy meditating when I really need it. Um, I should be doing it daily. Uh, I think meditation, I occasionally pull tarot cards. Uh, I find that to be really grounding and just kind of like a vibe check of what's going on in my life. Um, I grew up Christian. I pray occasionally. And I don't know, I think just a lot of breath work like really grounds me and I find that to be very spiritual and just helps you connect to your, to your core, you know? How did studying at Berkeley affect your artistry? Obviously the classes helped a lot, getting a lot of context to what actually is going on in music. I never really studied theory growing up, so that was very helpful, but ultimately the friends I made there, you know, listening to the music that they listened to completely changed my life. Like I got into metal going to Berkeley, which I never really knew anything about, but because of my friends there, I feel like I was really able to, um, you know, it, go outside of my own instincts as a musician. So I think the people I met, even doing most of my schooling online, just the people I met totally changed the way that I approach music and they challenged me in new ways. So everything about it really uh, changed my music for sure. It, it tears you down and then builds you back up, I'd say, as an artist. Ooh, who's an artist you'd like to work with? I think Faye Webster and I would get along really well. She's really into Animal Crossing. I've been really into Animal Crossing recently. I think we'd have a lot of fun playing that together. And uh, I just love how she approaches her work and it's all just very, I don't know, she doesn't take herself too serious. And I always kind of refer to her when I'm working on a new project. And what would Faye do? How would she make this a little sillier or a little, um, you know, more heartfelt? And I like how she steps outside of the indie twang genre a little bit too. And, you know, does some hyper poppy kind of stuff and auto tune on her vocals. She's cool. She's cool as hell. Is upstate New York underrated or overrated? Underrated. Totally underrated. I went to high school actually in upstate New York. I went to boarding school in upstate New York. Um, and there's not much going on, at least in Millbrook, New York, where I went to school. But I think there's so much to do up there that we don't know about. You can pick apples. Um, <laughs> there's that. There's the Hudson. Beacon, New York is very cool. I think it depends on where you go, but I think it's totally underrated and everybody just talks about the city all the time, but um, it's really beautiful up there. I'd say underrated for sure. What's one piece of advice you'd give your younger self? 
practice more. I think I, I'm i better about practicing now, but, you know, there's certain things on guitar I wish I was stronger at. And, you know, don't listen to that voice in your head all the time telling you, uh, you know, just the self-doubt things you go through as, as not only a young person, but also as a young musician trying to be their own person in the world and having to be your own boss in a way. So I'd say just practice more and stop worrying so much. Just enjoy it. And that's the last one. Thank you guys for having me. This was so much fun. Oh my gosh.